No matter whether you're an old hand at storage area networking or putting in your first SAN, you need help keeping it running fast and smoothly. Hello, my name is David Strom and let me show you how the latest version of DataCore Software's SAN Symphony V storage virtualization software helps you do just that. We have set up a demo network with a number of physical and virtual hosts whose virtual disks are being served from two redundant data core nodes. The nodes cache disk IOs from the physical storage devices and synchronously mirror disk updates across two buildings on the east and west ends of our campus. The data is also copied to a remote disaster recovery site. When we bring up the SAMF Symphony V management console, you can see that it incorporates the workflow and process of creating a virtual high availability SAN into its user interface. A logical sequence of steps guides you through adding data core servers, assigning ports, registering hosts, creating disk storage pools, and serving virtual disks. By clicking on a pool, we can tell how much storage we have consumed and provisioned, what thresholds we set to warn us about remaining capacity, how the physical disks and virtual disks are configured, and a map of what's been allocated. Let's add a new virtual disk to our Exchange host by clicking on the Virtual Disk button at the top of the screen and filling out the form. Here you see how we can easily thin provision the disk, choosing a terabyte for the overall size of this disk, but starting out with a more modest reserve space, say a couple of gigabytes. The next screen allows us to choose which storage pool will house this disk. When we click on the advanced options, we can see that all it takes to enable continuous data protection, or CDP, is a simple checkbox with a few parameters. The software will automatically pick the best connections for path diversity, too. After assigning the virtual disk to your Exchange host, we can go to its Windows Server Manager menu and rescan for new disks to see the additional 1 terabyte drive show up on the list. Adding a new host to the configuration is also simple. We go to the Host pane and then click on Register New Host. We see here a wide range of host types that are supported, including Windows, VMware ESX, and Zen Server Machines. We can track disk performance as well as other real-time events from the central view, adding triggers for email notifications and special handling should anything out of the ordinary happen. SAN Symphony V offers a comprehensive set of storage virtualization functions that speed up applications, ensuring business continuity, and facilitate disaster recovery. It supports all the popular disk manufacturers, including EMC, Dell, NetApp, IBM, HP, and Hitachi. The latest data core software release builds on a decade of experience in thousands of installations around the globe. This is David Strom. Thanks for watching another screencast video at webinformant.tv. You can check out my other videos, book me for your next conference, and read my articles on these links here.